I can sense Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Uh, don't tell me. Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Oh no. I don't sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. Okay, they should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? Akami's lookout, maybe? Majin Buu. I wonder what kind of monster he is. I hope everyone's okay. Hey, Goku! Is that really you, Goku? You're alive! Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me what's going on. Unbelievable. Gohan and the Supreme Kai? This is too much. Even Vegeta was taken down. Majin Buu's power. It's far greater than the Supreme Kai initially feared it would be. If we don't act fast, all life in the universe, let alone here on Earth, will be completely wiped out of existence. Well, not all hope is lost. We've still got you, Goku. If anyone can beat Majin Buu, then it's you. I'll be honest. That's not gonna happen. I can't beat him. Uh huh? Me and Vegeta were pretty much matched as far as power goes. And Majin Buu? He had no problem taking everything Vegeta threw his way. There's no way around it. I don't stand a chance. Really? Wow. Man, this stinks! If either Gohan or Vegeta were still alive, we might have had a real chance to do something. I don't think so. No, we're gonna need more than just numbers against this guy. He really is that strong. Nah, that's not what I meant. I'm talking about fusion. Huh? Fusion? What's that? Fusion? Where two people merge, right? That's a special technique used by the Metamorans. You know about that? And you're right. I learned the technique from a Metamoran I met in Otherworld. If two people are about the same size and roughly equal in strength, they can combine with each other. Do you understand what this means? Two people can form one person with way more power than either of the original two are capable of by themselves. There is one thing you really need to keep in mind. Apparently, you can only stay combined for 30 minutes. <sighs> now it makes sense. I think I understand. You were hoping to fuse with either Gohan or Vegeta if one of them was alive. You'd form the ultimate warrior and be able to fight Majin Buu. But fortunately, Gohan and Vegeta, they're both gone. Uh, so, this is the worst case scenario isn't it? Goten and Trunks are sleeping inside, and they are about the same size and strength. Perhaps they could fuse. Hey, 
that's a great idea, Mr. Popo. Yeah, we could do that. That'll work. Piccolo, I'm gonna do whatever I possibly can to teach the fusion technique to the kids. But it's gonna take some time. At some point in all of this, I'll need you to take over for me. Fine. I got it. This is good. There's hope for us yet! Those kids might be able to pull this off! Right. But understand, it's going to take quite a while before Goten and Trunks are able to perform the technique. The time this will take is something others don't have. A lot of people could die before that happens. Everyone on the planet, even the planet itself, might be wiped out before then. This is a long shot, but we've got no other choice. You're right about that. Even if all of humanity gets wiped out, we've still got the Dragon Balls to bring everyone back. What's going on? It got dark all of a sudden. Wait, is that... Did someone summon Shenron? Wait, but who? Bulma had all of the Dragon Balls last, right? But she doesn't know the situation. What's she doing? Of course! Yeah, that's right! Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Tournament! Bulma's gonna ask Shenron to bring them all back! Oh no! If she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to wait another year! I'll go try to stop her! Just as Goku had predicted, Bulma and the others had summoned Shenron to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The first wish had already been granted, but Goku was able to prevent the last two wishes from being used. Shenron disappeared and the Dragon Balls scattered, inert for the next four months. Goku then warped the confused group to Kami's lookout, where they would then all be safe from Majin Buu's onslaught. Here we have an individual brought back to life with the Dragon Balls. I... I'm certain I was killed by Dabara. But was I brought back to life? How can that be? What's going on? Where is the Supreme Kai? Oh, good. He's still alive. Uh, Supreme Kai! Supreme Kai! Thank goodness, I wasn't too late! Uh, uh, Kibito, wh what are you doing here? Uh, I saw you die! You were blown to pieces! Indeed. I too am uncertain how I was able to come back. That's right! Kibito, we have to hurry! Gohan's in danger! Huh? We have to prevent Gohan from dying at all costs! Hmm. <laughs> it looks like we've come to his aid without a moment to spare. Thank goodness. Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength once we're back in the land of the Kais. Huh? D do you mean to tell me we are going to allow a mortal to step foot in our holy land? Yes, now we need to hurry. He doesn't have much longer. R right Kai Kai.
What? What the? Huh? Where am I? This is the land of the Kais, our home world. Wait, what? Your home world? Yes, this is a holy land that even the gods and Kais, let alone mortals, were not to enter. Wait! I thought you died. Do you have the ability to revive yourself? Unfortunately, no. My revival is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Uh, uh why am I here? We hope you'll be able to use the Z-Sword to defeat Majin Buu. You should have what it takes to utilize that sword and its power. Huh? The... the sword? Are you sure about this, Supreme Kai? The Z-Sword is not a weapon that a mere mortal could ever wield. Not possible. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could ever make use of the legendary sword. As you were dead, Kibito, you haven't seen how truly remarkable Gohan's power is. At any rate, we should at least try. Come with me. <clears throat> You'll need some more suitable clothes. Oh. Huh. Kabito and I are wearing matching outfits. It's kind of embarrassing. Whoa. That's the Z Sword? This is the Z Sword. Huh. Now please try to remove it. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove this blade. So, I just need to pull it out, huh? Sounds like something out of a storybook. So, uh, I'm supposed to pull out this Z-Sword, but then what happens? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough power to destroy Majin Buu. What? <laughs> really? I guess that means this thing's pretty sharp. I'm kind of scared now. You can't remove the sword, so you have nothing to fear. Kibito, please be quiet. Gohan must concentrate. Please, Gohan, try to remove the sword. Huh. All right, here goes. <laughs> it's no use. It won't budge. Hmm. All right. Let's try this, then. Super Saiyan? Well, I doubt that'll change anything. It's no use. Several Supreme Kais before you have tried and also failed to remove the blade. Why would a mere mortal succeed? Look, he did it! I... I can't believe it!
I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase, okay? Goten and Trunks are both fine. But Gohan and Vegeta? They were killed by Majin Buu. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Gigi! Vegeta! No! He can't! Listen to me, people of Earth! I am using magic to speak to all of you telepathically. Now close your eyes. I have something I'd like to show you. My name is Bobbity, and I am a terrifying and powerful wizard. And this here is my loyal servant, the even more frightening Margin Boo. What? What is this? Are, are, are you seeing this too? Hey, what kind of freaky crap is this? I've run into a bit of trouble today, you see. And now, I'm looking for three troublemakers. This one. This one. And this one. If I cannot find these three fools, <laughs> well, allow me to show you what will happen. All right, Margin Boo, do it! Hey! That monster! What has he done? I will warn you one more time. You must tell me where those three are. If you do not, we will exterminate every last one of you five days from now. I eagerly await your reports. Damn that bug-eyed bastard. So those are the guys that killed Vegeta and Gohan. We can't let there be any more casualties. I'm going to confront them. No! Think about it. If you die on us, there won't be anyone to teach Goten and Trunks how to fuse. We have the Dragon Balls. We can use them to repair any damage done and bring back anybody that's been killed. You get it? Fine. <laughs> you're, you're lying! My dad wouldn't lose to, to someone like that! <laughs> My big brother is dead! <laughs> Stop it! Now's not the time for tears! If you want to avenge them, focus on learning this new technique. You got it? Let's get started. Everybody pay close attention. All right, time to learn how to fuse. People of Earth, I've just received some very interesting information. One of the three troublemakers I'm searching for, Trunks, supposedly lives at a place called Capsule Corporation in West City. I think we might head there next. For everyone's sake, he had better be there. I would show myself if I were you, Trunks. Your home won't be around much longer if you don't. Oh no! My grandpa and grandma are still at the house! Goku! Did you hear that just now? My mom and dad are done for! And so is West City, for that matter! It'll be fine, Bulma. 
We'll bring them back with the Dragon Balls. Oh, you don't get it! If my lab gets destroyed, so does the Dragon Radar! The radar requires special parts that you can't just get anywhere. Which means we won't be able to summon Shenron. What? That is a problem. All right, Trunks, hurry back home and try to find the Dragon Radar. Okay, I'll try to stall Bobbity and Majin Buu as long as I can. Are you sure? Aren't you just gonna get your butt kicked? Hmm. I can distract them for at least a little bit. Anyway, hurry before they get to West City. <laughs>